Hi, welcome back. The goal of this video is to show how to convert a JSON file into a data frame object. From the data frame object, we're going to look at the head function, which is really neat and I find myself using every single time I create a data frame object. Just to give a brief overview for those who are new to this, I'm going to be using the library called pandas to do all this. And pandas is a Python data analysis library that allows you to create a data frame object. An interesting fact, pandas, the word pandas derives from panel data. And I had to look this up. Panel data is something about observing data over a time series. Fun fact, we're going to use the lyrics genius API, which is an API provided by genius.com to search for J. Cole. Okay, I'm going to search for J. Cole songs, and we're going to receive about 287 songs within a JSON format. And JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, which is a lightweight mm, data structure, if you will, to send and retrieve data. The cool thing about JSON is that everything is within a dictionary. These are curly brackets, by the way. And the cool thing about dictionaries is that every dictionary has a set of key value pairs. We'll look more into that later. So once we get the JSON file, we're going to convert it into a data frame object. And like I said, the data frame mm, object comes from the pandas library. And the data frame is pretty much a class. We'll look into that too. And then after that, we are going to use the head function to look at our data set. All right, let's go straight into it. All right, the reason why I was inspired to do this is because I came across this blog post, if you will, that was talking about machine learning on Taylor Swift's lyrics. I was like, oh, wow, this is cool. So I started reading about cleaning the data, right? And creating a model. And this really motivated me to try doing something on J. Cole. Um, so I thought, hey, let's give it a shot. I will now go straight into it now. Okay, I have this thing called Anaconda Navigator, which is a pretty neat platform that allows me to have access to all of these different platforms. Um, so I really appreciate the UI because otherwise you would have to, ter to use the terminal to access a Jupyter Notebook, for example. I'm gonna use Jupyter Lab which is pretty cool because it opens up a browser and now you have an environment in your browser to create, I mean, not create, but write code, right? So I already worked on this a little bit, but I, I want to start fresh. So we'll create a new notebook here and maybe I'll just call this a uh, tutorial. Okay. And um, the cool thing about Jupyter Notebook is that you can sort of write comments here down too. So first thing we're going to do is import libraries. Okay, and I am going to import the JSON library because we want to convert the JSON file into a data frame object. Well, actually, that's not true. We want to convert the JSON file, the JSON object into a Python object. And we'll go into that shortly. Well, so we're going to import pandas. And I'm going to add as PD because I don't want to type uh, pandas every single time. Now, for sake of time, I'm not going to dive into how I use the Lyrics Genius API. If you are interested, I did something similar with Spotify, and you could check out the video here. But basically, when I do go over um, the API, actually, here's the code. You know, I imported the Lyrics Genius API. I had the Genius Access Token, which is provided when you sign up for um, their API. You can then use it to call a function within the Genius class, um, whoever you want to search for. And th in this case, I searched for J. Cole. And as you can see here, it's downloading all these songs, the metadata from these songs, and found 287. I then saved the lyrics, and boom, this is what we got. Okay. Now, this is the part I'm interested in because each song here has metadata and lyrics, and this is what I want to target. 
So to go back here, I'm importing the JSON library because I want to convert this JSON file into a Python object. Now, how we do that is we're going <clears> to <throat> open up the file. In this case, it's called jQuery.lyrics. I'll call that JSON full, full name, full file path. And we're going to say as file, right? So this file now is now recognized with this name. Okay. And this with function, by the way, closes this uh, file once you're done using it. Um, if you don't do this, then you sort of have to manually open and close files, which is um, pretty annoying, maybe if you forget to close the file. Anyway, so from here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable called data because this here is still a JSON file. What we want to do is convert it into a Python object. And how we do that is we're going to use the JSON library to use a function called load. And what load allows us to do is convert the JSON object into a Python object. All right. So if we do that and print out data, um, this is too big, but maybe we can do, um, actually, I don't know if I can get the type. Hmm. But anyway, trust me, JSON object converted to Python object. Okay. Now what we want to do now is create a list, create a list of dictionaries. And this is, I, I really enjoy creating a list of dictionaries. It's very, um, useful. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a master list called called list, right? Just to contain objects. A list is nothing more than a data structure that, you know, you're, you're putting objects in like, Oh, I want to put an apple in my backpack. It's something like that. Um, well, not really, but anyway, um, now for the, uh, how should I say this? for um, row and data. Okay. I'm going to iterate through the data object now, which is still, it's something like this, right? So we, well, my goal is to get into this object songs. So we're going to for row and data, actually data songs. Right. And the reason why it's data, um, brackets songs is because this is a dictionary and everything is a key here. Right. And I want to access this key because the key will give me access to all of the things here. So I want to loop to this. Okay. Not this. So I want to loop, loop through the songs. That means it's like zero, um, to 286. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a temporary dictionary because I want to store each song into a temporary dictionary and then add it to the master list. Okay. So let's say temp dict, um, title of the song is, well, let's take a look. What are songs? Let's look at the first song. This is a dictionary too. Okay. So we're going to look for the title. Where's the title guys? Full title. Okay. So I'm going to do row full title because the row is focused on that zero index, that file. I mean that row and we're going to get the full title. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called, actually, maybe I'll get to that later because you'll see why. Um, let's add more data. What do we want? We want, I'm interested in the lyric state. Lyric state, with row, lyric state. Okay, what else? Uh, release date, yep. I want the release date. Release date, row, release date. So. Pretty much what we're doing now is just converting everything in, 
into this temporary dictionary. We're adding it to the dictionary. Okay, and maybe album, is there? There has to be an album. Um, okay, so album, full title. So, they will do album, row album, oops. Um, full title. So we're doing that because we want to go into this key. Boom, we're in. Then boom, we want. The, okay, do I want full title or name? I want to go with name actually. All right. And um, lastly, I want the lyrics, right? And let's see. Again, the lyrics is all the way at the bottom. Um, by itself, so you just need the right lyrics. Sweet. Now, if we do that, um, actually, before we do that, we want to add to the master list. So we're going to do append, which is a function uh, unique to the list data structure. And we're going to add the temp dictionary. Okay, so what we're doing is we're adding all these things to the temporary dictionary, and we're adding each dictionary into this master list. Okay, so we're going to have a neat list of dictionaries. And if we do that, we're probably going to get an error. And it says songs is not defined. Um, what's that happening for row and data songs? That's because I, I need to do that. Okay. Now we get a different kind of error saying that for the albums, for the album name, we're getting a none type object. All right. So basically that's saying that there's nothing there. What are we going to do? So like in, there's nothing there, literally, there's no album name. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this might be repetitive, but I'm going to try this, right? Um, and I'm also going to, this is called the try and accept, try and catch. I forget what people call it actually, but so I'm going to try for this, but Hey, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to try something different is what I'm trying to do. And I want to set this to none actually, if there is a none object. So this is repetitive. Okay. So we have, a try and accepts now, if it, there is nothing there like the album, then we'll set it to none. And later we'll, uh, use that to filter out the non objects. All right. So if we do that, um, it looks good. Suddenly we have a working cell. And if we want to check, we can do mm, print master list. Okay. And wow. I mean, this is a lot. I can't read it, but basically we have our list of dictionaries. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to convert this into a data frame object. So we're going to DF for data frame. Let me just do that data frame. I should know. I like DF. DF is, um, PD, right? Pandas. Cause I called it, it pandas for short, um, data frame, right? This is the class now. And let's look at it. Pandas data frame, right? If you look here, pandas dot, meaning it's like a class. Um, and basically this is what we're working for. The first parameter we're going to use is data. Okay. So, I mean, if you want to read into this, I mean, they have a neat tutorial too. Um, here they set data equals D, but I'm not going to set data. I'm just going to do master list because that it recognizes it fine. Um, and if we do that, we have our data frame. Okay. And lastly, I talked about the head function and the head function pretty much shows you the top five rows like this. And this is our data frame. We have our title column, our lyric state, our release date, our album and our lyrics. Now in the next video, we're going to clean up the data a little bit. So we're going to, uh, clean up the release date column. Like what if we can just have the years? For example, and for the lyric state, 
if we would just want to look at the full one, it doesn't show you everything, right? But there's um, some values that are set to none for a release date, for example. Let's get rid of all of those rows that have none. Yeah, so we'll clean up the data in the next video. See you there.